from LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a major afternoon of Afternoons LA Late as massive students land in Americans' hands and one American watches at this channel. He's walking away with $20,000 of stimulus, brand new stimulus. Pass by the President of the United States of Congress. I'll show you how to get it in today's recording. But first, the major other breaking developing details of the markets. And in today's recording, in today's recording, it's brand new. It's like nothing you ever see on this recording. It's 18 pages of notes going in today's recording. Why? The market was up 800 points. Up 800 points. Some companies like Apple had the best day in several years in today's rally. So what's going on? I have a lot to go over in today's recording. We have everything from Apple to Amazon, from T-Mobile to Etsy. A little bit of everything going on today, plus the latest details on consumer confidence, the latest details on housing, and the latest details, of course, on the stimulus. In the big second half, we're going to go over massive stimulus. If you found this channel, I'm going to show you how to get this big stimulus. It's live. It's been live since the month of March. And viewers are cleaning up more than they ever have before on this channel. In less than 30 days, they're walking away with $20,000, $80,000, $100,000. I'm going to show you how to get this incredible money. It's nothing like you've ever done before. It's brand new, and it's all happening here on today's Afternoons LA. Go under this video, become a member of the Hawk, the Power Casino VIP, like thousands of others have, like hundreds join every 48 hours, and get those incredible checks in today's recording. I'm going to show you how to get those huge checks. Plus, we have the latest details on a lot major breaking news. I'm going to see if I can get through all those. In this late taped show, yes, Afternoons LA usually tapes earlier in the day, but today's show was taped after the markets closed minutes ago, and we have everything from the Fear and Greed Index. Fear and Greed Index? I mean, isn't that sort of the index you feel when you jump into um, a, a party and the, and the, and the check does not wave back at you? The Greed and the Fear Index. I'm greedy. I want you to wave back at me, Mr. Check, and fear. fear that there is another check that is going to wave at you and you missed it. <laughs> Today's recording, we go over all that and more. The Green Fear Index. I, I've never featured that on this channel before. You learn something brand new. Do not fear. Do not be feed greedy. Just get all the incredible stimulus. It all heats up right here, right now, on a big show of the gorgeous afternoons of Afternoons LA. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. What a day it is, and massive stimulus. Congratulations to John Maloof, brand new member. In less than 30 days, he has gotten $20,000 in his wallet by becoming a member of this channel. How do you do this? You go under this video, join the channel, then stay the big second half as I got lots of massive stimulus in today's recordings. $300,000 of checks, 300 categories of checks, all for you. It all heats up today on LA. A lot of breaking details heating up from your session to your inflation, your benefit raises, and of course, your housing and unemployment. And of course, that big four stimulus. The breaking news all starts right here, right now, on a big, massive afternoon to LA of October 28th, 2022. How are you? Hope you're having a beautiful day. Let's get to the breaking news right now. It is a big show. Apple stock was up 8% in pre-market trading as it beat on top and bottom of third quarter earnings. Intel up 11% beating on top and bottom. Amazon falling 7% as it reported quarterly earnings and missed on top. And it also downward guided for the rest of the year. This is a shocker. T-Mobile up 8% beat on top. Then let's go to some other companies. Etsy uh, down 3% in a big miss let's go to some other companies you may know like charter the uh the internet company gained four percent as subscriber grew and and beat on bottom see what's happening uh, there's a lot of great stock a lot of great corporate news today mcdonald's got an overweight rating from morgan stanley it was up four percent deckers the great shoe company fell four percent after reported strong numbers 
but also um, it, uh, it and and so it was a mixed bag. It was interesting. It beat, but then the market still uh, hit it badly today. So the market today ended eight hundred points up, eight hundred twenty eight points up, or three percent. And I got to tell you. This was the fifth consecutive week up starting, in, and this is the first time we've had five consecutive weeks of the market up since November 2021, and this is the best performance of the market of this year since May. It's also on, back, on track for the best market performance of, of this economy since 1976. Stock market has never performed this well in one month since 1976. But wait a second, there's so many stocks still down. Is that confusing? It is really confusing. It's really confusing. Inflationary data wasn't really that bad. The earnings have not been that great, but not awful, says Megan Horman. When you have that middle of the road, it helps the equity markets. I like that quote. It's really helpful. So the earnings numbers were really not that good. They downward guided, and then they beat the downward guidance. And then the inflation is still there, but it's not horrible, but it's also not its not great. Let's look at some other data. Uh, Caterpillar, big, da- big component of the U.S. economy, and it was up 15% in one week, the largest week of Caterpillar since 2009. Wow. I mean, look at this data. And there comes something I've never recorded before on this channel, the fear and greed index. (laughs) The fear and greed index. It's sort of every time you look at lobster. Fear, yeah, I fear it. Greed, yeah. Uh, uh, Mitch does not want to share it. (laughs) Let's go down to Meta. And Meta, of course, had that miss on top and bottom, featuring that LA short just two days ago. And that miss on top and bottom caused the stock to just really fall dramatically down 30, uh, from 130 to 100. Edward Jones downward graded it as well today from to a hold from a buy. So how big was this week for the market? It's the biggest month in nearly half a century. We have not seen anything like this since 1976. The market was up 14%. This is huge. Uh, compared to prior Octobers, this is the best October ever seen in the U.S. economy since 1896. Wait a second. <laughs> What's going on here? What is going on here? McDonald's also um, said that it's slightly difficult times. McDonald's reported strong third quarter earnings, but that investors should hold the stock during these macroeconomic periods, says Morgan Stanley. Really interesting. So let's look at the companies. Are they doing well? Third quarter profits uh, four four percent have higher numbers. Um, so twenty two percent of the companies have missed. Thirty three percent have on on top on 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 bottom. Thirty three percent have missed on top. So that's really interesting. That means that a lot of them have actually beat. And despite the tech wreck in recent days, some ETFs like the spiders up. Uh, for its second consecutive week in a row. So where are we seeing good and where are we seeing bad? Amazon, down 9% today. Intel, up 10% today. Apple, up 8% today. Costco, biggest year ever. Could be a special year, according to Morgan Stanley. 2023, they're referring to specifically. They think 2023 could absolutely put Costco through the roof. International expansion, uh, the value proposition, and also the cost is working. There you go. I mean, look at some of this data. And that, my friends, is why I think it affords so much check in every U.S. state. I mean, whoa, this really turned left and right in just 24 hours. <laughs> I mean, does it feel like it's 24? It's not just 24 hours, but it feels like it's 24 hours. I mean, how many days ago was it that I reported to you that Meta missed, Alphabet, the parent company of YouTube, missed, top and bottom, and Microsoft beat and top and bottom slightly, but downward guided on its cloud computing. And all those three tech companies really hurt when they announced those numbers. And I said, hey, it doesn't look really good, does it? It didn't look that good earlier this week. And then somehow, all these companies started pulling higher, higher, higher. That's why I have to get these four simple checks in every US state. Let's go over this incredible money. Now, one of the things you need to understand is that this money is everywhere. It's from the federal government. And it's huge. 
And the first categories of checks is what I'm referring to, FSCs, federal stimulus checks. Because once it comes from the federal government, it's everywhere, state and local states across the country, every U.S. state and every U.S. territory. FSC means it comes from the federal government, Congress, and the President of the United States. Let's go over the details of what they are starting right now. Are you feeling excited? I hope you are. I certainly am. The great news continues to roll on in, and I'm so excited you are part of the viewership today. The first three checks passed by the President of the United States by executive action in the month of March are huge. Checks A, B, and C. Single individual, $75,000 or less, go get them. Married couple, $150,000 or less, go get them. And if you're on benefits, go get them as well. How do you get them? You become a member. We're going to go over that in just a second. And these are the first three checks, A, B, and C, passed by Joe Biden by executive action in March. Then came other checks, E through K, passed by Congress. Huge. Just incredible. We're going to go over those in a second. Followed up by checks L and M, N and O, P and Q. And where do you get these incredible checks? Step one, you go into this video, become a member. Then get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, or 10 o'clock Eastern and 9 o'clock Central, and go down the membership newsletter to see those incredible checks. Apply, and you're ready to rock and roll. We're going to go over those checks in just a second. For you, the Purple Power, you want to get these incredible checks right now. My deepest thoughts and prayers are for the Pelosi family and Paul Pelosi, who is violently... Um, uh, ambushed in his home overnight. My deepest prayers are for the family. It's just horrific. They do have the attacker, and he's being charged with attempted homicide. Um, meantime, let's jump into the other breaking news right as well. So Friday starts a period of his uh, historically really great numbers. What is this? This is the end of the year. This is the Santa Claus rally, what I've been detailing this channel for a while. Santa Claus rally always brings the markets up. Even in a bear market, they typically gain 2% for the first five days starting October 28th since 1950. But Dow Industrials are on the pace for their best October since the Reagan administration. What happened? The Dow Industrials are now 13%, 13.4% higher for the month of October. We haven't seen that since 1987. So let's take a look at what's going on. Here's an example. Amazon, uh, first... Let's look at the companies with big trouble or are not doing well. And then we'll look at the companies that are doing really well. Amazon, lowest number since 19, since 2020. Also, Davida, Life Sciences, Catalent, uh, Biolabs, Essex Property, Assurant. You may not know a lot of those companies. Now, here are companies that are hitting highs. T-Mobile, highest high, highest, T-Mobile is now tra trading at the highest levels it has ever seen since 2007, since it went public. Uh, General Parts, highest level since 1948. McDonald's, highest level since 1965. I mean, look at these numbers. What's going on here? General Mills, we haven't seen these numbers since 1927. Hershey's, um, since 1972. What, what happened? What happened? Jamie uh, Smuckers, since 2016. Chevron, we haven't seen these levels since 2000. Excuse me? Yeah, it's straight up. Cigna, 1972, we haven't seen these levels. Eli Lilly, we haven't seen these levels since 1953. So this is an example of why this got really confusing. Here's Wells Fargo's analysis situation. He says if you miss on earnings, uh, you're going to get the worst punishment from the markets we have seen in a decade. While large cap firms are not in dire straits, post earnings reactions are some of the in, in the season are the really are really being re, uh, uh, realized. This comment comes from Christopher Harvey, who was an analyst at Wells Fargo minutes ago. So the bottom line is that investors have been significantly less tolerant to EPI uh, earnings per share misses, with less tolerant, with the average penalty um, worse than we've seen in a decade. So if you beat they like you. If you miss, they're really penalizing you the worst we've seen in a decade. So here's consumer sentiment and confidence today. University of Michigan released minutes ago says it showed a 59.9 up 1.3% points compared to the month before, but consistent with what was looking across the board. And then pending home sales fell 10%. Wow. Confusing? Yeah. I mean, it... it can you imagine? It doesn't. This sounds like in a totally different channel than just seven days ago. It's it's just. 
I looked at I looked at that last that last list of those companies seeing the highest levels they have seen since 1927 of their stock. And it feels like it was just yesterday that I said they're seeing the lowest lows since 1990. It was a complete reversal. I'll have my analysis on this in the big second half. I know it sounds confusing. And if it sounds confusing to you, it may be confusing to a lot of other people. And we'll go over that in just a second. But let's get some stimulus first. The incredible stimulus checks at issue start with those FSCs, federal stimulus checks, because these are incredible. And let's understand how this happens. First, what's important to understand is that when you're watching this channel, you're here to learn and to earn. And that means you got to do the way things are done now. I need you to forget how you did something in the past. So forget about how you did something to get a measly $600 check three years ago. This is how you do it now. And it's not $600. It's $60,000. It's $200,000. And I'm going to show you how, how they do this starting right now. Check A is a $6,500 to $12,000 for stimulus check in every U.S. state. Became a law by the President of the United States by executive action in the incredible, wonderful month of March. A single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Mary couple, $150,000 less, go get it. How do you get it? You go into this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino VIP. And it's just absolutely incredible. Then you're not going to stop here yet. You're going to go with check B. Now, remember, for check A, I got to congratulate Spelly. He got that great check. When we go to check B, even better, fifteen dollars to $80,000. Single individual, $75,000 less. Go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less. Go get it. How do you get it? You become a member. Go write in this video, become a member. Go down the membership newsletter to you see uh, check B and then click the link. Remember, become a member and get that membership newsletter from me to you and go down to check B. Now, here's an example of what could be your future by watching LA Light. Frank Mancusa joined this channel and in less than 30 days, he got a whopping thousands and thousands of dollars. He got 18 months of check B right there, 18 months of mortgages, 18 months of utilities, 18 months of high-speed internet. Incredible. Another view out of Florida, she got 8,100 checks from Check B. It's just absolutely huge, nearly $100,000. That's why you become a member of this channel, because that's the quick turnaround time. And congratulations again to John Maloof, who has now $20,000 in his wallet. Where did he get that from? Check C. But he also got Check N coming up late in this broadcast. Check C is for rent, utilities, mortgage, assistance, more. And yes, John Maloof joined this channel less than 30 days. He got $20,000. We have a lot of success stories for Check C, which is for rent. I have where you go, who you call, and what you say in the membership newsletter. Go into this video, you'll become a member, then go down to where it says Check C. It tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. Can you imagine that just for a few dollars, I mean less than uh, $6, to become a member of this channel, people are walking away with $200,000. Where else do you have anything in the landscape of the American uh, economy, where you can spend less than $6, which is basically like a cup of coffee at your local Starbucks, and get $200,000 from a channel. It's absolutely incredible. It's happening all the time. Here's what's going on in just the last few days. Of course, uh, we have the great success story from John Maloof, $20,000. We have that success story you just saw for those two viewers in Check B. We have Dragon, long time, a triple member to all three channels of this family, $170,000. We have Johnny, $250,000 for 20 friends and family. And the success stories keep on coming in. Let's look at those incredible checks for Check C. Let's go down to some of the success stories right now. Do you want $30,000 for rent for Check C? Go get it. Viewers are getting these sums of money every few days on this channel. If you've had a success story, post in the live chat right now. Also send it to me on private message. Do you want $30,000 of, of, uh, of rent? Go get it. Do you want $15,000 for utilities? Go get it as well. That is what... Um, Mark's brother-in-law got the same brother-in-law is getting quarter million dollars of snap from this channel for 10 years. Combinations of checks. Niece is at 23,000. She went to 50,000. Mark is at 32,000. He went to $166,000. He went from 32 to 50, from 50 to 100, and then from 100 to 166,000. Lorraine, she was at 105, and then she went to 155. Now, that is just the first three checks of FSCs. I have it for you in this recording today, nearly $300,000 of 300 different checks of FSCs. They're coming up the continuation of the big second half. Then we jump over to inflation release stimulus checks, ISCs. 
coming from your states. Next up after that are lifetime stimulus, because once your benefits go up, they never go down. Plus, I have state of stimulus. I'll give you my predictions of what's going on with stimulus. And we'll go back into the breaking news, because we're just halfway through this. 18 pages of notes for today's broadcast. Yes, it's a lot to go over that I got for you left and right. What's important to remember is that for FSCs, they're everywhere. They have nothing to do with your state. States don't administer it. They don't pay it. They don't run the websites. It's from the federal government. Go get those sums of money of FSC checks first, and then continue to pounce and get more checks thereafter. In the big second half, we continue with those FSC checks. I got more for you. Then we go to inflation release stimulus checks, lifetime stimulus checks, and then I go over the latest, continuing breaking details from the markets. Stay informed, stay focused. I'll see you back in 60 seconds as Afternoon's Ally continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook Twitter and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And the big second half continues right now from the shores of Santa Monica, California, as massive stimulus also comes from Congress. We're going to go over the continuation of those FSC checks via the president and also the Congress. Purple Power cleaning up. Have you become a member? Go right on this video, become a member. Purple Hot, Purple Power Casino VIP. And with that, let's continue with the big second half right now of those incredible checks. Checks E through K passed by Congress by uh, incredible bills over the spring and summer. Establish the continuation of those incredible checks. Let's look at them right now. Check E, $7,500, just huge. Then check F, $4,000, continuing thereafter. With check H, $2,000, wow. Check G, which I skipped accidentally at 30% all, 30% there. Check I, $8,000. Check J, $8,000. And check K, $14,000. Just absolutely huge. But we're not done there yet. We got check L, $100,000. Yes, $100,000 on average of loan interest free money. Check M, $4,000. Check N, a brand new tablet, a brand new computer, a brand new laptop, and free internet, which teed up Jean Malou. Jean Malou was in the live chat this week on Morning to LA at 9 a.m. live on air, and he said, I got it. I got it? I said, yes. He said, yes. I got that incredible stimulus, and I got a brand new tablet by becoming an LA member, and I'm watching you on that tablet, he said, Jean Malou. Congratulations, John, I said. And I said, go get some more stimulus. Well, he did. The next day, he got approved for $20,000 of rent. That's how you rock and roll on this channel. People are joining this channel and walking away with ten dollars or $20,000 in less than 30 days. Why would you not become a member for just a few dollars under this video right now? We're not going to finish there yet. We also have P and Q. P is a wonderful 3% down for a brand new uh, for a refi. And Q is $8,000 of closing costs. There you go. That is incredible. FSC checks. Now, what do we know about these? First, they're from the president or Congress, the federal government for every U.S. state and U.S. territory. Number two, they are huge. And what's important to remember is the largest check is $100,000. The smallest is $8,000. 
fastest routing time. That would be two days because Johnny started on Monday and got $45,000 by Wednesday, continued by Friday, $80,000, and then got his mom and dad each $50,000 before he getting quarter million dollars for 20 friends and neighbors. What are these checks for? We got checks for rent, utilities, mortgage. We got checks for the home repairs. We got checks for brand new housing appliances, the car, the internet, the computer. We got something for literally about everything. And those are FSC checks. Now, remember, you want to get these incredible checks, and you want to get them right now. Been lost since the month of March, which then tees up the next category checks to go over inflation relief stimulus checks. And they're absolutely wonderful. Most people think about inflation relief stimulus checks first. I don't. I think about them second because they're smaller. About $1,000 on average from your state's direct deposit, otherwise in the mail, and how do you learn about them? You become a member, then go down to check D, and like donut, click the link, it opens a brand new page that lists the state, lists the check, and lists the website to track it, which then tees up lifetime stimulus, and no one's explaining this at all to you. This is you if you're on SSI, Social Security, Railroad benefits, Veterans benefits, more. Why is this a surprise? The surprise is that most of you know your benefits are going up next year at 8.9%, but no one's telling you you are doing that on top of your current raise and that you're going to get two more raises thereafter. Why? Last year, your benefits went up 5.9%. What's important to remember that no one's explaining is that the 8.9% raise you're getting next year is on top of, yes, on top of the 5.9%. No one's also telling you that you're going to get two more years of raises thereafter. The year after that, because inflation is going to be around, says Jay Powell, and the year after that. So, yes, you're going to get, you went from the zero to the 5.9 raise, then that 8.9 raise, 8.7 raise, and then two more raises thereafter. That's incredible great news. Plus, your benefits are no longer going to be eaten up by that um, situation of Medicare Plan B, because that has been solved. Which brings us back to those markets. This is fascinating. Let's continue with what happened today as well. Consumer sentiment and expectations on inflation are higher today, says a University of Michigan survey obtained by Allied News this morning. Consumer sentiment edged higher in October, but so did the outlook on inflation. The University of Michigan's survey of consumers released on Friday showed it was up 1.3% compared to the prior month, but also showed that consumers believe inflation is higher at 5%. So consumers' confidence higher slightly, but inflation higher slightly in their perception as well. Interesting. Let's jump over to some housing data. Some of the housing data coming in today, well, what do you think? Lower? Of course you think lower. You think you got it right? Uh, let's look at the data right now. Uh, we've had housing starts down, uh, home builders' confidence down. We have home prices down. So do you think the data was any better today? If you said no, you got it right. Pending home sales fell 10% in the prior month released today as well. This is a September data. Pending home sales fell sharply in September, down 10% compared to a 4% expected drop. And with the exclusion of the pandemic, this is the lowest level since 2010. Let's say that again. With the exception of the pandemic, this is the lowest level of home sales since, the, since 2010. Wow. Um, here are some other data points, which are really important to go over when we're looking at these markets. So... There is literally $6 trillion of valuations and companies gone because of a bad drop in technology. Microsoft is down 34, 35% uh, from its high. Apple, despite today's great numbers, was initially down 27, uh, 22%. It's lost $650, $695 billion of its valuation. Alphabet, the parent company of YouTube, has lost $807 billion of its valuation. It's down 39%. Amazon, down 50% from its high. It's lost $941 billion of valuation. Tesla has lost $540 billion, uh, billion of valuation. And Meta, and Meta, formerly Facebook, has lost $820 billion. It's down 75% from its all-time high. Wow. So let's go at consumer spending. Do you think consumer spending is up? <laughs> Jump on the live chat, up or down? 
if you set up, which I think you're going to, you got it right as well. There was personal income was basically flat, but consumer spending was higher. So personal income was up 0.4%, but personal, uh, consumer spending was up 0.6%. And on the inflation run, the employment costs rose 1%. The core PCE um, was 5.1% higher than the year before. And that's a little bit less than the markets under, was expecting. Now, the PCE is something that I want to go back over with you in just a second. It's an inflationary data. I, I recorded it in a short yesterday, but I want to go back over that data because it's very, very important. Caterpillar, which is a very important uh, component of the U.S. economy, downgraded by Deutsche Bank and despite a raise. There's simply not enough upside potential in the current valuation, says Deutsche Bank's analyst Nicole de Blasi. Exxon beat, Chevron beat, you expected that, those are those, uh, those oil companies. And then what also happened uh, today was, of course, Amazon missing on those earnings numbers and the stock down. Um, and that is on the face of what happened with Meta. So let me go back over this PCE. Let me go back over the GDP number. Basically, I wanna recap the stuff that happened on Thursday because I didn't do a full recording. I did a short recording on only that. Let me go over the brand new inflationary data, the brand new um, growth data of the US economy and the brand new corporate data that you missed from Thursday. Number one, the US economy is in recession, I believe, because two negative quarters have been posted of GDP growth and two consecutive negative quarters of GDP growth qualifies by definition of a recession. It was the first and second quarters of this year. But the third quarter of GDP growth was released on Thursday, and it was a positive number. So immediately the question mark was whether we never entered recession, whether we are entering a recession, whether we are in one. The former head of TD American Trade basically addressed this the day before, and he said most Americans are feeling a recession right now. They're paycheck to paycheck, and yet all parts of the economy are not suffering from recession. You certainly saw in those corporate numbers, number one. Number two, the other thing to remember is that when you look at three quarters, that's not indicative of what's happened in the fourth quarter. So uh, most people believe that the U.S. economy is really faltering and that you may not call it a recession, but it's very uneased. Now, if the GDP number was a positive number on Thursday and the stock market's up so dramatically in just one month, the highest level was seen since, seen since the Reagan administration, then are they predicting something you and I don't see? They may be thinking there's going to be a soft landing. They may think the Federal Reserve may pull off the soft landing that we all thought was never going to happen. What's a soft landing? The soft landing is raising interest rates at the Federal Reserve to lower inflation and then getting inflation down, and then we don't go into recession. Well, here comes some more data and then my analysis. The data is the Personal Consumption Expenditure Index released on Thursday. Big number. We feature on every, every month on this channel. The PCE, Personal Consumption Expenditure Index, is an inflationary number. It's released once a month, always at the end of the month. And the reason you and I like the numbers is because it's always released before the CPI and the PPI, but it always is indicative of what that CPI and PPI will be in the next month. That CPI and PPI comes around November 13th. This number was released yesterday in late October, but it's indicative of what the November 13th number is going to look like. So what did it show? It did show inflation came down a little bit, not a lot. So let's go back to that personal consumption expenditure index. Wall Street was looking for it to come in at a, um, uh, was looking to have it come in at a 5.1 year to date, uh, excuse me, 5.2 uh, year to date, but came in 5.1. And it was up 0.5 month to month, which was better than expected. So what's important to understand is that the personal consumption expenditure index was an improvement on inflation, but not a huge improvement. <laughs> it was an improvement, but not a huge improvement. So it meant that inflation was coming down. And if you watch that short, I really congratulate you. Why? Just sit back and enjoy this mo next 60 seconds of this video. Because you got locked in for the raise of your benefits.
if you're on SSI and SSDI, Social Security and Wearable Benefits, to the highest inflation of a generation. Let me explain the significance of that. Throughout this entire year, throughout last year, I told you it was very important that you get locked into the highest point of inflation before it comes down. I told you a lot of people were trying to get that inflation to come down, all those Federal Reserve governors and Jay Powell. And I said, I hope, really hope, dearly for you, I'm praying that you get your benefits locked into the highest spot, the top of the mountain, for where inflation is before it comes down. You don't want to get locked down here. You don't want to get locked in down here. You want to get locked in up here. Because remember, once your benefits go up, they never go down. Inflation is going to go down. But your benefits, if they're locked in here, they stay here. And then the year after that, they're going to go higher because they're getting another raise. Well, if this personal consumption expenditure index number is Y and is indicative of that CPI next month, which it always is, that means you got absolutely Perfect timing, exactly everything you had prayed for. You got your benefits locked into the highest price point of a generation. And this is why we're here for. This is why this Purple Power community works together. We had all been rooting for this. We were all absolutely worried that inflation was going to come down before you got locked in for the raise of your benefits. It did not. We are all worried that you were getting the timing was going to be off, that inflation was going to pull back and then they're going to raise your benefits or they're going to raise your benefits and then inflation actually goes higher. We're all worried about this. And that's ultimately why you watch this channel. It's important to really be on top of the news. And that's why there is so much breaking news. What are you watching? You're watching LA, the number three most watched financial news channel in America. Why? As one viewer said two days ago, you really deliver a lot of uh, information. Here's today. Here is literally today. See how thick that is? 18 pages of notes just for today. 18 pages of notes. You know, when you watch some cooking when you watch some cooking shows on TV, they got a camera up above on the set that shoots down as you're sauteing the Brussels sprouts. I wish I had that. And maybe I should add that next year. A camera shooting down because you would see my table. I literally have notes from the prior broadcast up to, let's see if I can back up a little bit, up to about here. That's how thick my notes are. My notes from prior broadcasts on set are now this thick. Can you imagine? There's a lot of information to deliver you. And we all have different types of lifestyles right now. Some of you may be back at work. Some of you may be retired. Some of you need, may need stimulus. Some of you may need stock insight. Some of you may need crypto insight. Some of you may need just in a lot of information about what's going on in this economy. There's a lot going on. And ultimately, this is why I'm here. There is no other place like this in the planet. There's no other place that gets you money. I've gotten viewers $15 million over the last two years. There's no other place that educates you in a way that's fun and simplistic, but also very informative so that you know exactly what's going on. And there's nowhere else other place where it's this comprehensive across the board. Cryptocurrency has, uh, has come up a little bit, but let me tell you what's important to remember. It's all in the numbers. Whether it's Decentraland, which is 60 cents or 65 cents, or it's Doge, which is 7 cents. Make sure you always look at numbers. Why? Especially with crypto. Why? Because there's been a series of reports in the last few days where they said, this is up 30%. This is up for its best day in six months. And then you look at the number, and you're like, well, that's not much of a number. And here's an example. When Elon Musk became owner of Twitter less than 48 hours ago, there was a report out that Dogecoin had its best day in seven months or something, eight months. And it was up 10% or something, 20%. It was like some strange number. It looked enormous. It looked like Doge was, you know, 85 cents or something. <laughs> Doge was seven cents. Uh, so what happened? I guess it went from six cents to six cents to seven cents. <laughs> It's just, you know, one cent move on a six cent, six, that's hard to say, six cent coin looks really big uh, if you run the number certain ways, but if you look at it, it's just still one cent. <laughs> and that's sort of what's going on. And so I want you to always understand we lead with data. I know it's very confusing when I flip to that page, and I think I'm confused, when I tell you it's the best performance of the, uh, that some of these stocks are the best levels they've seen since 1927. But then some of the, you know, some of them have not moved since 1927. You know, uh, when some of them say is the best movement that they've had in two years, but then they've really you know been down for two years. So a lot of this is a grain of salt, and a lot of it takes a lot of digesting.
here's my analysis for you to going into tonight's evening's LA. In tonight's evening's LA, what I want you to understand is there is a lot of twists to this economy. And there's a lot of twists from uh, from all different types of walks of life. You know, it feels a little bit like we are back in May. Do you remember what happened in May? I know you do. Back in the month of May, we were looking at inflationary data and we were worried that there was so much bad inflation that the year would really downward trend throughout uh, f uh, as we got closer to Christmas. Well, it didn't because Wall Street looked for a rally and they got it and then it fell apart. Remember what happened... Um, about seven days ago, seven days ago, I had a report on this channel where people said j Powell, uh, where, where j Powell is not going to stop those interest rate spikes. He is not. The inflation data hasn't changed. It has not. Inflation is still there. And that everyone's trying to bet against the Federal Reserve and actually ignoring the quotes of the Federal Reserve now. <laughs> That's actually something I was saying for this entire year, but now analysts are saying it. So the data for the Federal Reserve, unchanged. The data for inflation, unchanged. The projection that Americans are hurting for from inflation, and that we still we still are entering are in a or will enter into recession. My definition is we are in recession, is still there. So if the data is all the same, then why is this crazy massive rally out of nowhere, with the exception of technology companies going underway? I'll explain that tonight on Eden's LA in prime time. From the shores of San Marco, California, I want you to get all of this incredible stimulus, lifetime stimulus, FSCs, and of course, ISCs. Remember, this is the way it's done now. This is the way you get it. This is massive amounts of money. And ultimately, if you don't need the money, it helps to have extra sums of cash in your wallet because of the recession underway, the inflation underway, and the economy just very disjointed. You want to be ahead of the ball game, and you do it here on Alight. From the show of San Marco, California, join me tonight at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time as Evening's Alight heats up. <laughs>